Tonight, we're finding out a little bit more on that horrific crash that killed two people in Ottawa County. It happened at the intersection of 120th Avenue and Stanton. This is in Olive Township. One of the victims was a girl just finishing up her high school career. 24 Hour News 8's Joe LaFergie is live in Hamilton with the latest on this. Joe. Ryan officials here at the Hamilton School District say Nicole Neighbor, who deputies had originally released a name as last name as Rector, was just about a week shy of her 18th birthday and would have walked out of the school doors here at Pioneer Tech as a high school graduate later today if it had not been for this accident. Instead, the school is in mourning. Everybody picks each other up. Um, we're going to pick the family up. I've been able to go and talk with mom already. Um, and do what we can to support them as they move forward. Rector and 22-year-old Jordan Gillespie, a 2013 graduate of Zeeland High, who worked two jobs and was considering entering the military, were in a car traveling west on Stanton near 120th Avenue in Olive Township near the lakeshore at about 12.30 this morning. The car ran the stop sign, left the road at a high rate of speed, hitting a tree. The impact tore the car into four pieces. The victims were thrown from the vehicle. At this point, investigators still have more questions than answers, like who was driving. Although Gillespie's mother says she doesn't know of any reason her son would have let Rector, who she described as a casual friend of Jordan's, drive his car. Investigators also want to know where the two were coming from and what they had been doing. There were no obvious signs of alcohol or drugs at the scene. So far, speed is the only contributing factor known to police. It's just a tough puzzle right now. It is, and, it, and it'll take time, and hopefully we can put it all together with the accident reconstructionist, with the vehicle damage, um, hopefully with investigations and, and leads as to where they may have been and where they may have been going to. If nothing else, just to provide closure for the family. Coming up at 6, we're going to take a look at that particular portion of the roadway and find out why the design, uh, take a closer look at the design and tell you why that at one point it may have been simply too late to hit the brakes. Live in Hamilton, Joe Lafergie, 24 Hour News 8. Thank you, Joe.